VO, QQQ, what is the difference between the two funds and what is the best to add to your portfolio? What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about the difference between VO and QQQ and discuss which fund might be better to add to your portfolio based on what you're trying to do when it comes to investing. So first off, what is VO? Let's talk about VO real quick. VO is an ETF that seeks to replicate the S&P 500 index. And for those who aren't familiar with what the S&P 500 index is, the S&P 500 index holds the top 500 most valuable U.S. companies. Companies that are both profitable and resilient, and also have some of the smartest people in the world working for them. The S&P 500 is commonly used as a gauge to see how the overall U.S. economy is kind of doing. Investors from all over the world look and watch at the S&P 500 just to kind of get a gauge of how the United States is doing economically. So in a way, by investing in VO or the S&P 500, you're essentially investing in the U.S. economy since you're placing an investment on all of the top 500 public companies in the S&P 500. Although the S&P 500 only has U.S.-based companies, many of those 500 companies actually operate internationally as well. So just because they're based in the United States does not necessarily mean they don't make money from other countries and other economies outside of the United States. It's estimated that S&P 500 companies get roughly 40% of their revenue from outside of the United States. So yes, the S&P 500 is considered an American or United States fund because all the companies within the fund are United States based, but a lot of their revenue comes from international markets anyways. So these are massive companies that are bringing in money from all around the world, not only just the United States. Historically, the S&P 500 has returned an average of 10% per year. And it's also one of Warren Buffett's favorite index fund. It's a fund that he recommends most investors actually invest into because beating the market average is extremely difficult to do, even for professionals. So who is VO good for? VO is great for those who are looking to get a broad exposure in some of the top, most popular, most valuable companies in the United States. VO also has a very low and attractive expense ratio, uh, sitting only at 0.03% per year. And of course, the index holds stocks in all sorts of sectors, so you're getting a pretty wide diversification amongst the top most valuable companies and most profitable companies in the United States. And many of these companies have stood the test of time and have proven themselves in times of crisis. All right, let's jump over to QQQ. So what is QQQ? QQQ is an ETF that seeks to match the performance of the NASDAQ 100. So like the name kind of gives away, the NASDAQ 100 holds only 100 companies within the funds, and the NASDAQ 100 is actually dominated by tech companies. It does hold some companies that aren't necessarily tech related, but most of the companies within the index are considered tech companies or technology companies. Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, Facebook, and Google actually make up over 30% of this fund. So this fund is a lot more concentrated when it comes to how many stocks it's investing in. Not only that, it's dominated by the top five tech stocks that are held within the fund, with over 30% of the fund being held within just those tech stocks. The NASDAQ 100 is a popular way for investors to kind of gauge how the overall tech sector is performing. And as you might guess, the NASDAQ 100 is typically a lot more volatile compared to the S&P 500 or VO, which has a lot more stocks and it's a lot more diversified. So who is QQQ good for? I would say QQQ is a great fund for those who are looking to take more of an aggressive investing approach, especially if you're maybe younger and you have more time to allow the market to grow and for your investments to grow specifically, and you can deal with that increase in volatility. The NASDAQ has historically beat the S&P 500, but it's a lot more volatile compared to the S&P 500. So again, if you're able to deal with more of those fluctuations of the ups and downs, then the NASDAQ 100 could be a great fund for you. If you want to avoid dealing with more of those ups and downs, the S&P 500 might be a better bet for you. QQQ has an expense ratio of 0.20%, so not nearly as low as VO, but it's still a great way to invest more aggressively in tech stocks. So my personal opinion between VO and QQQ is that at the end of the day, they're both great funds. It just kind of determines on what type of investing you're looking to do. If you're okay with taking a more aggressive approach and taking on a little bit more risk, AKA more volatility and whatnot, 
uh, QQQ would be a great fund to jump into. If you're looking to just have a little bit more broad exposure into the top US companies, then VO would probably be a better bet for you. I personally invest in QQQ and VO every single week. Every time I get paid, I throw money into both funds. So I'm a fan of both. It's just kind of up to how much exposure to each fund you want. So if you wanna be a lot more aggressive, then you can lean more towards QQQ. If you don't wanna be as aggressive, but do want some more concentrated exposure to tech, then you could lean more towards VO, but also have some exposure to QQQ to have more of that concentrated tech exposure. So I hope this quick video helps explain the difference between QQQ and VO and give you more information to make a better investment decision based on your personal risk tolerance and investing goals. If you still have any questions between the two funds, leave a comment. I'd be happy to help. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.